If she says, what's your name? She's on it. If she wants to know my name back, it's done. She didn't say my name. She didn't say my name. But she didn't ask for it. <laughs> what's your name? Oh, it's done deal. What's up, guys? John Anthony here from John Anthony Lifestyle. We are going to be exploring Andrew Tate's pickup line in this video. There's a guy that went around using Andrew Tate's pickup line and testing the results. Okay, and I'm going to give my own input as a dating coach who's relentlessly optimized the system over the course of over two decades and has been coaching for over one full decade, thousands of clients all around the world. So let's jump right in here. Once you have their attention, what I personally say, and I know this is cliche, everyone's expecting some amazing line, it's really not a line. I wanna make my intention <laughs> clear from the beginning. So excuse me, excuse me, I just wanted to say you are absolutely beautiful. All right, so his opener is, excuse me, I just wanna say you're absolutely beautiful. So it's just a direct opener with a direct compliment. Now let's see how this works for this guy. Sorry for stopping you. I just think you're absolutely beautiful. I will look you directly in the eyes when I tell you you're beautiful. I'm not, no, I'm not punk, I'm not afraid of nobody. I make my intention clear. The reason I say that is because 99% of the time, unless the girl's a fucking as a person, the only thing she can really say is thank you. I'm sure you get it all the time though. No. no. I just wanted to come and tell you that. I'm sure you hear it all the time. And I was wondering if I could have your Instagram. So there's already <laughs> multiple things wrong here. He's doing a direct compliment. Okay, it's gonna sound a little bit cheesy. A lot of guys are doing that. Hey, you're just so hot, I had to talk to you. Hey, you're just so adorable, I had to speak to you. Hey, you look really beautiful, I had to come and talk to you. So now you've lumped yourself in with every other guy. And you know, a lot of people would think, oh no, you're showing that you have balls, you're telling her you like her. She knows by virtue of you walking up and speaking to her, that you are attracted to her and that you think she's good looking. Okay, that's why you're speaking to her. That's why you approached her. Now, asking for an Instagram close, 95%, possibly even higher of guys, their Instagrams don't cut it. It's actually gonna work against you. It's gonna be a demonstration of lower value, otherwise known as a DLV. Even guys that think they have decent Instagrams, typically there's pictures that aren't up to snuff. Typically there's scenarios or even the follower amount Okay, that are going to make them look lower value. I've spoken to lots of hot girls about this. And lots of hot girls, they'll screen out most guys by their Instagram. So I prefer a minimalistic approach. I have a really good Instagram, but I prefer a minimalistic approach. So I always get the phone number. If they say like, oh, let me give you my Instagram instead. First of all, okay, that can usually be seen as a blow off in a lot of cases. Because on Instagram, the girl's going to be a lot less responsive. A lot of girls are just looking for followers and extra validation and little guys to just like all their shit, like their stories, like their posts, etc. They're going to be way less responsive there, especially if they don't follow you back and all this stuff. Like you're going to be some cold message that just sits there and never even gets read. Don't go for the Instagram. Not to mention it'll make most guys look bad and fuck up their chances. Okay. Cause either they don't have enough followers or they're doing some things in the pictures that look low value, or they don't look attractive enough in some of the pictures or maybe they look too try hard in some of the pictures where it looks like they're trying to show off and this and that. You wanna keep things minimalistic in the sense that you don't wanna give her a reason to reject you. You don't wanna give her a reason to pick out something, oh, I don't wanna meet this guy over that. So you shouldn't give out your Instagram and you shouldn't be asking for an Instagram. So I would highly disagree with that there. Here on Instagram. The reason I ask for an Instagram is because it's a far less personal than a phone number. I don't think that's true either. People routinely give out their phone numbers all the time once you have her Instagram, you like know all about her life. You can like stalk her. You can like fucking, you know, see every little thing she's doing in real time with her stories and stuff like that. I don't agree with that point either. If you ask for a phone number, very few people have her phone number. <laughs> very few people have her phone number. Okay. But every random motherfucker. All yeah, exactly. You don't want to be another random motherfucker, okay, who's just gonna be there to like her shit he follows her on instagram mm -hmm. so why would she say no yeah sure. okay so she gives it almost every girl i ask for their phone number says yes almost every girl that my clients are asking for their phone number says yes it's not a big deal to ask for a phone number especially when you hand them your dial pad especially when you preface it with saying are you this area code or this area code the most common two area codes in the city etc there's proper ways to do it so the chances of getting the instagram are very high as a side note if you'd like to get a shit ton more matches, more phone numbers, more dates, more hookups, and build your dream rotation, we are running the industry-leading eight-week program. 
best program in the industry. We have over a thousand testimonials on a page. We will revamp your online game profile. We just did it recently for a guy. He was getting two to three matches a week. After we revamped it, he started getting 25 matches in just four days. And then he set up 10 dates out of that. How do you suddenly have all these dates? He plugged into my Tinder scripts so that he knew exactly what to message on Tinder in order to turn the match into a phone number. He plugged into my text scripts to turn those phone numbers into dates. So sign up for a free 30 minute call to speak to someone on my team about your particular dating situation. Tell us your goals. We'll usually get them accomplished within the first month of the two month program. And we will help blast through any and all weak points you have in the game as well. And this is human psychology. She's already said thank you. It's already positive. Now she's giving you her Insta, which everyone else has. <laughs> and after she gives me her Insta, this is the true test. Mm. Again, like, I don't see how he, he's bragging about this. Now she's giving you her Insta, which everyone else has. That's not a, a positive thing in, in your side. I say, what's your name? Let's say she says, Jay. Jay, I'll say it's nice to meet you, Dre. Jay, I'll shake her hand. And I'll wait two seconds. If she says, what's your name? She's on it. If she wants to know my name back, it's done. <laughs> yeah, this is horrible advice. If you're asking a girl, what is your name? And you shake her hand. Okay, it's very often common courtesy and societal convention that they will feel obligated to ask you your name. He's like, if they ask you your name, it's done. And also the opener doesn't fucking matter at all. Okay. As long as it's not cheesy, fancy, gimmicky, gamey, etc. which I would argue that, Hey, you're absolutely beautiful falls into the cheesy category because it's just a fucking line. And lots of guys are saying it. It's also pedestalizing the girl and being like, wow, you're so amazing. And that's just the way to start the conversation. You have to be asking logistical questions to find out her situation. You have to be framing the idea that the two of you are going to go back to your place. You have to be sexualizing the conversation, implementing light physicality so that you remove yourself from the friend zone and she sees you as something more than a platonic interest, as a romantic or sexual interest. And there's a whole bunch of other shit that you have to be doing. He's putting the whole game down on the opener. He's reducing everything to, oh, you got a girl's Instagram and she's asking your name back. It's a done deal. No, that's absolutely false and absolutely retarded. Game over. 100% in the back. <laughs> Hi, I'm John. What's your name? <laughs> blah, blah, blah. I know you would say, hey, what's your name? I don't even know how the fuck he's doing it. But asking a girl her name and shaking her hand and then her asking your name doesn't mean fucking game over 100%. It's, uh... What's your name? Ava. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Okay. Uh, I'll see you. <laughs> oh god such a dumb criteria for success did she ask your name who gives a shit i just wanted to come up to you and say that you're absolutely beautiful oh thanks, thanks. i'm sure you get it all the time though oh, so oh, you know thanks. you're like yeah probably but uh i was wondering if maybe i could grab your instagram yeah of course you have nice eyes what we'll color your eyes uh, they're like greenish they're kind? like yeah green honestly it's still a debate till this day okay uh i'm sorry what's your name eva Nice to meet you. Nice and to yours? meet you. Kevin. Kevin. Nice to meet you, Kevin. Nice to meet you. Oh, thanks for the compliment. I was of just course. Like a, a friend that I was just... I threw See, game isn't just like a fucking scripted thing, right? Like, imagine all the guys that saw that Andrew Tate clip, and they're going to run out. Hi, uh, you're absolutely beautiful. Thanks. I'm sure you get that all the time, right? Let me get your Instagram. I'm John, or, or whatever. What's your name? Oh, nice to meet you. What's your name? Oh, it's done deal. Or, oh, she didn't ask my name, so it's not a done deal. It's like, it doesn't fucking matter at all. Something on to because I had a long day yesterday. You had a long day? Yeah. yeah. I'm a, I'm a pre-med, I do health science, so like. Oh, so you're a genius. No, no, you're, I'm not a genius, you're, you're a prodigy but, and you're beautiful. Uh, but I got just lots of work to do. Okay, well, I'll let you keep working. There's no Wi-Fi right now, so. Yeah, here, I'll just keep chatting. Okay. Or maybe you can get mine. I have the same thing. The Wi-Fi thing, but okay, maybe, okay, yeah. Okay, you know what? There, so, get... Is there not a thing called mobile internet for these young men and women here? Okay. okay. All right. Bye. Sorry for bothering. I just had to stop by because I thought you were absolutely beautiful. Thank you. Yeah, I'm sure you get it all the time, though. Your friend's yeah. laughing. She's like, ah, this is like the 10th time today. No. no? Yeah, well, so just wondering if maybe I could get your Instagram. Oh, I have like a husband. You have a husband? Yeah. Really? This? Oh my god. Five years. Five, five years? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. He's a lucky guy. But Where I have a beautiful friend, so. Oh, okay. Yeah. Where are you guys from? Ethnically. Out of here. Ethnically. 
Um, Spain. Spain. Yeah. Both of you? Wow. Oh my god. Or are you single? <laughs> yeah. yeah, this guy just comes across like cheesy, right? Like all he has to go off of is this like stupid can line from Andrew Tate, who's already demonstrated atrocious game, mind you. In the grilling episode, where he came in with the indoor sunglasses. He's wearing the indoor sunglasses in this fresh and fit clip as well. And he's saying, oh yeah, I just came in on the jet, uh, blah, 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 I might take some cars for a drive. Uh, uh, and the girl's like, cool. You're cool, buddy. How did you get here today? Uh, I flew in, I flew in this morning. Flew in, it's different, it's like different. Yeah, 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 jump okay. on the jet. <laughs> like he, ha he doesn't have a fucking clue. Okay, that's not how shit works. He's just posturing and positioning, thinks everyone needs to bow down and kiss the ring and all this bullshit. And this kid's just like, you know, improving after his like one line is used up and he doesn't have a fucking clue either. Oh, she's busy. She's busy. <laughs> uh, excuse me. Hi. I just wanted to come over because I thought you were absolutely beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. I'm sure you get it all the time though. Um, I was wondering if maybe I could grab an Instagram. Sure. Uh, are you a student? Yes. Okay, I'm old, I'm a grad student. Oh wow, really? Yeah. <laughs> oh my, okay. Yeah. All right. I'm sorry, what's your name? I'm Olivia. Nice, nice to, meet, to you. meet you. Here you go. Cool, thanks. All nice right. to meet you. Nice to meet you, bye. <laughs> she didn't say my name. She didn't say my name, she didn't ask for it. <laughs> Think about a dumb criterion that is. She didn't ask my name. Who fucking cares? There's a chick about to fucking arrive, so. Uh, we'll wrap up this here shortly. Excuse me? Sorry for bothering. I just wanted to stop by because I thought you were very beautiful. I thought you were, I thought you were stunning. Oh I'm sure you get it all the time, though. Thank so. you so much. No problem. I was wondering if maybe I could grab an Instagram. Yes, of course. I can put in your phone. Okay. What's your name? Bria. But my, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. What's your name? Kevin. Okay. There you go. All you right. You can text me from there. Okay. Bye. Nice to meet you. Okay. <laughs> oh yeah i forgot done deal if they ask your name like imagine you're a guy that goes out it's like you have to fucking ask them out for a date you have to you're supposed to be getting their number they're gonna be much more responsive over text than over instagram you should be framing a date set up there's all these things to the process which guys aren't aware of and it's the opener is literally like almost fully irrelevant yes it starts the conversation but she knows just by virtue of your approaching that you're interested in her it doesn't need to be some fancy, gamey, gimmicky nonsense. If you want a real solution for us to revamp your Tinder, your online game profiles, to give you the exact message scripts, to message on Tinder and over text, show you exactly how to run your dates, exactly how to do cold approaches at bars and clubs and during the daytime, how to take girls home from start to finish, and what to do once you get them back home and after you close them in order to keep them around, book a free 30-minute call. We have the industry-leading program. Like I said, there's over a 1,000 testimonials on a page. And if you'd like to train with me in person, you can go fill out an application for our Miami program coming up July 5th through 9th, where me and two elite level instructors will be training guys on everything game related and really transforming guys to make them extremely, extremely good across five days. Okay, so thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you think about all this in the comments. Please subscribe, please like the video and watch that video on the end screen. Thank you guys so much and I'll see you on a video soon. Take care. Take a look at the scores. I put numbers up on the boards. I'm in a section with models, and you're at the bar trying to get out of cluster of fours. Fixed drama factor. I'm a boss tycoon. My dick smell like two chicks before noon.